We had this essay, this is High Priestess Ashodhara saying welcome number five. For those of you born on the 5th, the 14th, the 23rd, please uh, do the math. Your birth date has to add up to a number five. And if that is uh, true, then you are in the right place because this video covers the predictions for the month of February 2024. The central theme of the month is described with the help of three cards from three different decks. You have Lord Shiva's Oracular deck, the Dragon Oracle and the Moonology Oracle deck. The four weeks in a month are described with the help of four cards from four different decks, which are the Dragon Tarot, the Smithwaite, the Celtic Dragon, and the Wicca deck. All right, let's begin with the central theme oracular cards. You've pulled out, you have pulled out the new moon in Cancer, which says you and your loved ones are safe. The card of loss and the card of being polite. So this card essentially speaks about you need to uh, watch your words and start being polite. Be uh, polite with an effort. Looks like there are times when you are not being as polite as you should be or would like to be. But for whatever the reasons are, please hold your, your emotions uh, in check because it looks like your words are being taken in a harsh manner and uh, that's not what you want to be defined as, okay? Somebody who's aggressive. You are going to experience some kind of a loss. It doesn't specify what kind of loss, but it could be any kind of personal or professional loss. But uh, having said that, remind yourself that the period of grief should be proportionate to the kind of loss and uh, without meaning any disrespect do understand that under every circumstance till you're breathing you always have a choice and life goes on if you sit life will move on without you give that some thought when you have your bearings in order your loved ones and you are going to be safe and that is what is being told to you by this card here which means uh, there is no uh, danger or threat to um, the people that you love and uh, that's a good thing, right? The first week of Feb 2024, number 5, you've pulled out the Strength card, the Queen of Coins or the Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit card and the High Priestess card. A lot of feminine energy, a lot of Yang energy is what I see. Also, you have 3 out of 4 major arcana cards which means you do have the blessings of the angels we will go with the strength card first so you could be a leo or dealing with one this card also means that you're being asked to tame your inner lion you're being asked to be less judgmental less opinionated remind yourself that you don't like yourself to be put into brackets then why should you do the same thing to other people it doesn't work like that what goes around does come around each and every single time the queen of coins the queen of pentacles says do not go by the gender you could be a male also People are looking at you and you're coming across as a person who can take care of yourself and those who depend on you, who rely on you in terms of finance. This is the energy that you're giving out. If you're matching this energy, excellent. And if not, get in touch and let's see if we can switch your vibe because this is the frequency that you're giving out. This card also means one more thing and that is you're thinking about money a lot because of which you might be missing out on the simple things in life. So do think about that. The Hermit card. Is here to say that you could be a Virgo or dealing with one. This card also means that you have to self-introspect, at least you're being bound, you're forced to literally self-introspect. You are being, you find yourself slipping into that state of thinking and pondering and that is happening because you need to check and see, are you on the right path? Are you behaving in the way that you should with the people that matter? And uh, is everything in order? Is everything in check with you? Also, some of these terms which we call vague, but they actually matter at the end of the day. Are you happy? Are you happy with yourself? Are you happy with the people you are with? Are you happy with uh, the state, the station in life that you are in at the moment, etc. And the last card for the first week, number five, you've pulled out the High Priestess card, which means that either you have pissed off uh, a High Priestess or you're in the, under the protection cloak of one. For your sake, I hope it's the latter and not the former. This card also means that uh, your instinct is very, very strong at this point of time. 
your gut should be trusted by yourself. Make your sixth sense your first sense. All right, let's move to the second week of Feb 2024. Number five, you have pulled out the nine of wands. The death card. And, well, the six of cups twice. So I'm going to put this here for you. Six of cups, very interesting card. But first of all, this has come twice, which means the universe wants you to sit up and take attention, take notice. So it looks like you are going to be nostalgic about your childhood. Memories of your past might come uh, fleeting by. You might have a lot of deja vu moments. And you are going to think about the time when you were happier, it seems, as compared to now. Please don't keep um, you know, slipping back and forth because it gives an escapist attitude and you tend to get disappointed in reality which automatically means your vibration frequency will go down and more negative experiences will come your way so why do that right i'm not asking you not to think but i'm asking you not to compare understand the difference this card also means that someone from your past will come back into your life could be an old flame an old friend um, a relative you were not in touch with someone who's who was a part of your past and has now come into your life remember there's always an ulterior motive just for warning you okay not filling your ears and this is happening because it's come twice all right the death card tells me that you could be a scorpio or dealing with one this card also means that there is a belief system that you have been following for a period of time and now you find that this is it's not giving you the kind of result the kind of return that you were ex that you have been enjoying so far and therefore it is time for you now to put an end to this belief system and that's a good thing for you it will work in your favor the nine of wands tells me that you have been holding the fort for quite a while now you're quite battered and bruised practically exhausted and uh, running on empty like they say so it is uh, quite possible that you're wondering whether you are doing what you should be doing or is this just a you know losing battle and uh, what this card is here to say is that tell yourself at this point of time that your commitment is indeed being tested you haven't come this far to give up and the the stand that you've taken if it is for the right reasons then st stick around and uh, hold that foot a bit longer because the sun is just about to come up and uh, the darkest hour is the one which tests you the most. But the beautiful part of that is that the light of the dawn, the first light of dawn, looks that much more beautiful because you've experienced the darkness, right? So don't give up. The third week of Feb 2024, number five, you've pulled out the death card again. Okay. The Queen of Cups or the Queen of, yeah, the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Coins or the Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. So as you can see, we just discussed the Death card. So it came in the second week and now it's come in the third week again. I will not waste my time and yours in explaining what it is. But if it's come twice, you know very well what this means. There will be an end to a belief system, of course, if you're not a Scorpio or dealing with one. All right, let's do the next card. The Queen of Cups tells me the... You could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or dealing with one. Don't go by the gender. You could be a male also. This card means you're holding on to something really tightly. It could be a thought, a dream, a concept, a person, a, a thing, but something that you're holding on very, very tightly because of which um, people are looking at you and they, you're coming across as somebody who is desperate, who is, uh, you know, who is helpless or who is, uh, um, you know, insecure. And these are very negative uh, vibes, not to mention that that's not how you would like to be defined. Would you like to be defined as desperate? Would you like to be defined as insecure or underconfident? No, because that's not who you are. But the way that you're clinging on to this one thing is how you're coming across. So don't do that. Remind yourself that self-respect remains in your hands and should stay in your hands till the day, the last day that you walk on this earth. And let that thing be. Instead of focusing on keeping it with you, focus on things that are required for the process to move on smoothly beautifully and without any strings attached eight of coins eight of pentacles tells me that your professional set your skill set is being 
um, noticed by all the right people. They are finally setting up and taking notice. And uh, credit should be given where credit is due. And here it looks like it is a due. For, due. And this is your time in terms of finances and money. So good for you on that score. Keep working and keep adding feathers to your hat. Page of Wands tells me that you will be receiving or giving out a creative message. You will also have a good sense of humor and appreciate other people's sense of humor. You are also uh, going to have a young, youthful kind of out outlook and expect the same from people around you. The, uh, the devil may care kind of attitude, right? The last week of uh, Feb 2024, number five, you've pulled out the five of wands, the five of cups, the page of cups, and the lover's card. A lot of messages I see that you'll be receiving in the month of Feb number five. Lover's card, right? So the five of wands tells me that there are going to be, you've taken a decision, you've taken a stand, and not everyone is on the same page as you are. It is a little hurtful and surprising for some of you because it looks like you were expecting support and yet you didn't receive it. If it is something that you believe in and if it isn't harming anyone, then I say you go ahead and do it. Just make sure that, you, that you're confident enough to take this stand. And it is not based on something as superficial as ego or proving a point. A five of Cups. Looks like you need to change your perspective. Looks like you need to uh, change your perspective in the sense of you're looking at the glass half empty. Instead of looking at all the things you don't have, try and focus on the things you do have. And I promise you, your vibrational frequency will increase and positive experiences and feelings and thoughts will come. Okay? So take the effort. Right. The lover's card tells me you could be a Gemini or dealing with one. This card also means that you need to love yourself a little bit more. Uh, speak to yourself with loving thoughts. Have some, um, have some time that you take out, what we call me time, alone time. And uh, see why is it that you aren't confident in your own self. Why is it that you shy away from giving yourself importance. And uh, it has nothing to do with narcissism. I'm, I know a lot of people think that uh, if you think about yourself before everyone else, it makes you selfish and self-centered. That's if you do it all the time and you only think about yourself. But if you think, yourself, think of yourself first, it is something as practical as if you're hungry, you feed yourself, not the person you love the most. It's as practical as that, okay? So it's actually a no-brainer, all right? So give that some thought. All right. Page of Cups is here to say that you'll be either receiving or giving out an emotional message. And this is the last card for you. It's not the least though, because this is, uh, this means that if there's an emotional message that is coming your way, remember you uh, to uh, take a breath before you rep uh, reply or respond and think where the person is coming from, uh, from because it could be good, bad, bad or ugly. And if you're giving out a message, ensure that you're doing it for the right reasons and you aren't using some kind of a gaslighting issue, okay? Just, just make sure that that is not happening. All right, number five, extremely interesting reading this time. I will see you in the month of March. Until then, love, light, and knowledge to you all. And Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, BHSSA.